Tensions remain high in Assam Sivasagar district where local groups have demanded the removal of Bangladeshis and voiced concerns over the threat to indigenous identity. The administration has taken strong precautionary measures to prevent unrest. Sivasagar police conducted flag marches and 27 local leaders have been summoned under section 126 of the BNSS for their involvement in protests. They have also been asked to explain why they should not be required to post a 2.5 lakh bond to ensure peace for 6 months. Tensions are not limited to Sivasagar. Various parts of Assam have experienced unrest, particularly after the alleged gang rape of a 14-year-old girl in Nagao on August 22nd. One of the accused, Tafassul Islam, died in the police custody a day after his arrest, further escalating tensions. Flag marches have been held across districts in Sunday following Chief Minister Himant Biswa Sarma's comments labeling the incident an attack on the indigenous. Before the Nagao incident, unrest had already been brewing in Sivasagar. On August 13, a 17-year-old girl was allegedly assaulted by local Marwadi businessmen. The assault led to protests by Assamese nationalist groups who demanded that land sales in Sivasagar and Upper Assam districts be restricted to non-indigenous people. After the Nagao case, some groups intensified their demands calling for all Bangladeshis to leave Upper Assam within 7 days. There have been videos circulating of people warning suspected Bangladeshis to leave the area. Sivasagar officials have issued statements urging calm and refuting claims that certain videos circulating on social media were recent or from the area. They suspect these videos were meant to incite communal unrest. Basanta Gogoi, leader of the All Thai Ahom Students Union, distanced his group from calls for Bangladeshis to leave but insisted the movement to protect indigenous land and language rights would continue. Similarly, leader of Bir Lachit Sena reaffirmed their stance against outsiders and what he called economic aggression. For more updates, keep watching the Indian Express.